I'm sitting here on this front porch swing. My chest vibrates, my ears ring. Wondering what the hell's the matter with me? Inside of my head is like World War III. Not just a little hazy. I think I'm going crazy. Others call me lazy, loser, wimp, coward. I heard it all. I lost my job, lost my wife, cut my wrist with a pocket knife. I drive down the road to Walter Reed, thinking every mailbox I see is an IED. They say you've got post-traumatic stress disorder. They called it a hidden injury. Not to me, it ain't. The president comes in. He says, "Son, change your attitude. Get up off your buns. You gotta shake it off. Walk through it. Get up on your feet. Put your mind to it. See what he's saying is, it's mind over matter. But what he's communicating is, your mind doesn't matter to me." Mr. President, with all due respect, let's talk disorders. If I could talk direct, I've been reading about afflictions of mind. I'll tell you about one of a different kind. It's indicated by irrational thinking, confused language, and an inability to empathize. It's called presidential spongy form encephalopathy, also known as Mad President's disease. So he cocked his head, kind of confused, a little baffled, a bit bemused. Then he held my hand to prove me wrong, make me feel better before he moved along. Son, you misunderestimate me. I know what you're going through. And I'm doing everything within my power to leave behind a more peaceful future. What the hell does that mean? So he shook my hand. I shook my head, leaving angry words unsaid. A hidden injury. Fancy that. Got a hidden outrage under my hat. See what I want to know is. With one in four of us coming home with hidden injuries, what's going to happen when our injuries run out of places to hide?